you're watching the news from ITN. Tonight's headlines, police hunting for the missing Merseyside toddler have found a body. De Klerk says in Carter must join talks on the new constitution. The government warns it won't accept changes to Maastricht. And in sport, the favourites Manchester United are out of the FA Cup. Police searching for the Merseyside toddler James Bulger say a body's been found on a railway embankment close to where he went missing. There's been no formal identification, but the police have confirmed that the body is that of a small boy. The two-year-old disappeared after becoming separated from his mother at a shopping centre on Friday. Protected under a police tent lies the body of a young boy, found this afternoon by children playing on a railway embankment. Police hunting for missing toddler James Bulger have maintained their optimism for most of the day that he may yet turn up safe and well. The body was discovered right next to a police station on the side of a regularly used railway. Officers brought in lighting equipment to enable them to work after darkness fell. Two-year-old James was last seen over 48 hours earlier outside this butcher shop in Bootle. Security cameras photographed his apparent abduction by two youths. As they walked out of the center, one witness actually challenged them, but the youth said they were taking James to his mother. Police had spent much of the day searching both used and unused railway lines in the area. They'd already combed other wasteland and derelict buildings. As the search continued, his father made another appeal for the boy's safe return. He's never been through anything like this before, so we're obviously at all about it, especially the wife. Detectives in the incident room are now awaiting the results of the post-mortem inquiry. A Home Office pathologist is expected to confirm the cause of the boy's death late tonight. Also crucial to the process of piecing together the sequence of events will be the estimation of when he died. With that information to hand, detectives will tomorrow renew their hunt for the two youths caught on camera. And Jonathan Munro joins us now from Liverpool. Jonathan, is there any doubt about the identity of the body? Very little doubt indeed now, Julia, I think. Uh, the formal identification will be made late tonight, maybe even in the small hours when the Home Office pathologist has finished his work on the post-mortem. Uh, but I was speaking to a close relative of the parents earlier this evening who said that they are devastated, so the news has clearly been broken to them. And I think all the indications are very much in place that this is indeed the remains of James. Jonathan, what effect has this whole episode had on the community up there? There's a great deal of anger that such a young boy has apparently uh, become the victim of, uh, of a crime like this. Uh, anger which started off as a determination that the two youths caught on camera should be uh, detained by the police, a determination which was reflected in the number of phone calls the police incident room received, which was quite enormous, dozens and dozens of reported sightings. And I think if the pathologist confirms it's James, that can only turn to more anger here. Jonathan Munro, thank you very much.